me crazy Something controlling me mind, whole body, it's your annual Jab jab music calling we Nothing nobody can stop we We like typhoon on the way Friends side just had one family Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome to my channel. If you're not, then welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashina. Everybody calls me Ashoks. I live in Dominica, Caribbean islands. I'm a nail tech, a mother, small business owner, and aspiring superhero. <laughs> ah, well, really and truly, all of us want to be a superhero, right? Anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a very good weekend. Um, I wanted to actually come in and do my post earlier, but due to circumstances beyond my control, I was not able to do that sooner. Nonetheless, I am here today and I am thankful. So I hope each of you are as well, okay? And your loved ones as well. So today's motivational talk is about friends. Last time we were talking about or um, I spoke about, you know, starting a business. I know a lot of people, I have a lot of friends, I have a lot of acquaintances, and of whom clients of mine also become friends. And I know a lot of people have a lot of things that they want to do, but they're afraid to do it because they're afraid of what they might see or whatever. But for today, we wanted to talk about friends and really just knowing the people that you surround yourself with. Now, from my own experiences, I am a person, I, I, I think, or I would conclude to myself that I am a likable person. Um, I know a lot of people, I have a lot of acquaintances, um, but I have very few friends. And I know for a lot of people, they think friends is something, or friends is a word people use loosely. But for me, friend, a friend for me is a very serious thing. If you are in a position and you can call on to me and um, or you consider me to be your friend and you in a position and you call on to me and I'm, I'm un in unable to help you or unwilling to help you, then I cannot be your friend and vice versa. So that's why I am very particular with who I consider to be my friends. I always feel like I have relatively a handful of friends and I don't have more than that. From my childhood days, I would consider a lot of people to be my friends. So this is my friend, or these are my friends, or whatever. But as I've grown older, I have learned to be careful with those persons that I consider to be friends. To me, a friend is somebody that you can talk to and not feel threatened or feel like there's so much judgment. A friend is somebody you can call on to if you're in a dire situation and you need help and that person is just that person you can call and that person will be like, no problem, you know, what you want me to do or what you need my help in or where, where I can meet you or what you want to do now or let's go somewhere, you know, take your mind off whatever it is that you're going through. A friend for me is somebody that wants your best interests as well your friend knows you well enough that they can point out things to you like for example a friend is not somebody that's just gonna um let you do stupid things with yourself a friend is somebody who is going to be able to point out to you when you are doing nonsense with yourself and tell you like no that no you shouldn't be doing that to me that is what a friend is and a lot of times we do not experience friends we have people and we deal with them and we talk to them and we figure oh that's my friend so my advice to you today is to be careful and to screen your friends just like everybody screens for everything people screen for jobs people screen for working positions people screen for people that, that, that they want to look after the children people screen for a lot of things and some of that some of the times we just have people who are just poisonous and toxic to us and because we figure we have history we kind of brush aside the things that we know that can you know indicate that hey that person is not really helpful for you or that person is not healthy towards um your goals that person is not willing to move anywhere there's a saying that goes birds of a feather flock together and a lot of times people will say to themselves well if i hang out with you doesn't necessarily mean I'm, I'm like you and i'm thinking to myself why would you want to hang out with somebody who is not like you anyways and it's not that Saying that probably you're not in a position that you can help somebody who's not like you being in a better position. It's not about that. But I mean, if you're saying that somebody is your friend, you have to want that person to be better as well as you'd want for that person to want you to be a better person. So be careful about your friends. Be careful about who you talk to. 
do not share your dreams and aspirations with people who are not willing to help you to get there a lot of times people go ahead and they listen to things that you do and they go ahead and try and do the same thing or they listen to things that you tell them about and then they go ahead and talk about you with somebody else about whatever it is that you want to do and they'll be bickering and be like oh she thinks she is or whatever the case may be or, or, or i don't know what she think or she thinks she can acquire that or accomplish that and whatever right you have to be very 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 careful about the people you have in your inner circle it is not wrong there's nothing wrong in having people that you can talk to and people that you could probably hang out with but you need to be careful of those persons you consider to be your close knitted friends okay don't talk to anybody and anybody about your goals and aspirations don't talk to any and anybody about your experiences don't talk to any and anybody about probably things that you went through because a lot of times instead people use those things to try and employ you or make you a better person and remind you like hey you survived this they'll kind of be like you remember you were there so why are you trying to make it like you know like they use your mistakes against you and do you really consider that to be friends do you consider people that we probably didn't talk for a week and when they call you the first thing they have to say is like so what happened you forget i existing no friends don't do, friends don't do that or they use you we have that thing with us feel we, we we feel to ourselves that as a friend you have to always be there and say yes to things that's not true that's not true you cannot have a friend or somebody cannot consider you to be your friend and they're manipulating you or they're using you or they always figure well i wouldn't get it from xyz but if i call ashina she will always do it for me you know that's not a friend you might consider that person to be a friend to you but you're not a friend to that person and to me i always say the quality of friend that i am is a reflection of the friends that i have if you're not a good friend, you're not going to attract good people. That's just that's just what it is, right? And to me, we're living in a world where it's it's just too crazy for you to tell me that you're surrounding yourself with people. Or, you know, sometimes you have that thing like, um, I feed in you with a long spoon, but you're still close to the person. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't add up. If the person is poisonous to you, then you stay away from the person. I mean, it's too, it's too much... We go through too much in life for you to tell me that you're literally playing around with somebody's emotions and you're like, oh, I'm their friend, but I'm not really their friend. You know, I'll talk to her, but I don't really deal with her. I'll talk to him, but I doesn't really deal with him. You know, I'll see my daughter, I'll call him, but I don't like him. I don't like her. No, you don't need that. You don't need that. So that's all I had to say today. Be careful. Take some time and screen your friends like how you would do anything. Because a lot of times we have very very bad habits and we think about bad habits like staying out late and drinking too much alcohol but a lot of times those bad habits is friends those people we continue consider to be friends those are the bad habits that you need to just shake off because you don't need this kind of negativity in your life okay so go out i hope you have a very good evening probably by the time i post that it's gonna be night time so i hope you have a very good evening and take care i love you